the house of rock Each on each proclaims his praises Each declares him Lord of all Countless millions sing his glory Answering his pilgrim call On we go to Jerusalem The city of the house of God Pilgrim people receive the Lord The Lord of the house of God Peace he promised to our fathers In the ancient desert land Peace he offers in abundance To his faithful pilgrim band On we go to Jerusalem The city of the house of God Pilgrim people we seek the Lord The Lord of the house of God Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. This Mass is offered for the following intentions. Diocese of Warangal, Mariapuram Parish, Vokal Village. This Mass is offered for Divyavani TV Corpus Fund donor, Kasu Joseph Reddy, on the occasion of his birthday, and Kasu Arogya Mary, for their good health and good future, and praying for the departed souls of Kasu Mariddi, Mariamma, Sister Mary Irene, Samala, Annamma, Allam Shauri Lamma, Kasu Chinnapreddi, Annamma and for all the departed souls of priests and nuns and catechists, people died in Mariyapuram. Offered by Kasu, Maria, Suresh Reddy, Shauri Lu, Maria Sushma, Mary Shanya, Tumma Pavan Reddy, Shanti, Viswas Reddy, Vishruth Reddy, Vai Terezamma, T. Bal Reddy. Together with these mass, Holy Rosary, Divine Mercy Chaplet, Word of God and Holy Hour are also offered for this family and their intentions. Rajamandri Parish, mass offered for the soul of Joseph Anthony Leo Glover on the occasion of his birthday offered by the family members. Holy Mass offered by Konra, Helen, Selin, Anil, Milan, Naomi and Lenin for Ammini Matthew on the occasion of her birthday for good health and bright future. Archdiocese of Hyderabad, Bollaram Parish Mass offered by Das and family for Aryan Josh Thomas on his birthday for his good health and good future offered by the family members. Together with these intentions, let us also remember and pray for all the donors of Divyavani TV channel. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, the theme that we are called to reflect today is who is truly blessed or what is the true meaning of being blessed? The Lord gives us an opportunity even though physically we have not seen him because we have not lived in his time or in his locality. But in spite of that, the Lord gives an opportunity to be blessed and to become his family members by our spiritual bonding. That is when we do and practice and live according to the word of God and God's will. And to celebrate these sacred mysteries in a worthy manner, have we tried our best to follow God's will and to practice God's word in our life? And if we have failed to do so, let us ask for God's forgiveness and mercy to celebrate this holy sacrifice of the Mass in a worthy manner. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, and that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what, what I have done, 
and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, your Virgin, all the all angels and saints, saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our trespasses, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. You have come to heal the contrite Lord, Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. You are all sons of God through faith. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, chapter 3, verses from 22 to 29. The scriptures consigned all things to sin, that what was promised to faith in Jesus Christ might be given to those who believe. Now before faith came, we were confined under the law, kept under restraint until faith should be revealed. So that the law was our custodian until Christ came, that we might be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer under a custodian, for in Christ Jesus you are all sons of God through faith. For as many as of you were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are in Christ, then you are Abraham's offspring heirs according to promise. The word of the Lord Thank to God. God. Response or real sum, let our response be. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. O oh, sing to him, sing his praise, tell all his wonders, be proud of his holy name, let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Our response. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Consider the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. Remember the words he has done, his miracles, the judgments he spoke. Our response The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. O children of Abraham, his servant, O sons of the Jacob, he chose. He, the Lord, is our God. His judgments prevail in all the earth. Our response, the Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever.
According to Saint Luke, glory to you, o Lord. Chapter the eleven, verses from twenty-seven to twenty-eight. Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke, chapter the eleventh, verses twenty-seven and twenty-eight. As Jesus was speaking. a woman in the crowd raised her voice and said to him blessed is the womb that bore you and the breast that you sucked but he said blessed rather are those who hear the word of god and keep it the gospel of the lord praise, praise to you lord, lord jesus, jesus christ, christ. My dear brothers and sisters the passage of the gospel that we have heard today is very much similar to the occasion when Mary and uh, Jesus cousin brothers wanted to meet him and when they came somebody said your mom and your brothers came to meet you and Jesus said these are my brothers he showed at those people who were listening to his word and they said these are my mothers these are my brothers and sisters and today similar passage we hear where a woman speaks about mary as the biological mother and that is the reason why she is blessed but jesus says more than biological relationship there is a more better stronger relationship that is a spiritual bond that's why we hear today what is it mean what does it mean to be truly blessed who are called truly blessed first of all the word the word blessed in greek is makarai makaraioi makaraioi sometimes is translated as happy and sometimes as blessed but happy is not uh, a more suitable translation because most of the times happiness is about feelings that means i feel happy sometimes i don't feel happy so depending on the feeling happiness changes but to be blessed or blessedness is a status and a situation which does not fluctuate like a feeling that's why we need to understand that blessedness is a state which is more permanent and it does not fluctuate like a feeling of happiness and sometimes non catholics they tend to take this passage and also the other passage and uh, they say you know jesus has not shown much reverence to his physical mother 
So why do you Catholics worry to honor her and to revere her or because you people even worship her? First of all, in order to understand why the Catholic Church and the Catholics treat Mother Mary with that kind of reverence and honor, first of all, we need to understand in traditional Catholic liturgy, in order to refer to the saints whom we venerate, the word used is called dulia. Dulia means venerating saints. We read in the letter of the Romans, letter to the Romans, chapter 13, verse 7. To those honor is due, you have to honor them. To those respect and reverence is due, you have to give respect and reverence. That is called dulia, where we venerate the saints. And then we have latria. latria. Latria is the word reserved only for God. That means to worship God. We read in the book of Exodus chapter 20 verses 1 to 5 where the Lord says you should not worship anybody else but only me. So that is reserved. The word Latria is reserved only for God according to the understanding of Catholic liturgy. But between Dulia and uh, Latria, Dulia which is reserved for the saints and uh, Latria which is reserved exclusively only for God, between these two words we have Mother Mary because none of the saints bore Jesus in their womb physically and none of them were full of grace. That's why in between Dulia and Latria, in between the saints and God, we have a word that is hyperdulia, that is reserved for Mother Mary. And hyperdulia is not Latria. That's what we the Catholics should understand and also make non-Catholics also understand that we do not worship Mary. Because while we venerate and honor saints by Dulia, we do it more to Mother Mary. That is hyperdulia. We read in Luke 1, verse 48, that she is highly favored one. Because of that reason, we reserve this hyperdulia word to Mother Mary. And secondly, we need to understand also that there is a difference between Catholics and non-Catholics in terms of prayer and worship. Both are not the same for Catholics. Prayer and worship are not the same for Catholics. But for non-Catholic denominations, most of the time, they are one and the same. Their prayer is their worship and their worship is their prayer. But for Catholics, there is a difference, distinction between prayer and worship. We do pray through the intercession of Mother Mary and saints, but we do not worship them. That is the understanding uh, that we need to have because in the Catholic Church, prayer and worship, they are distinct. They are not the same as most of the uh, non-Catholic denominations do. Because for them, there is no difference. Prayer and worship both are one and the same. But we do reserve worship only for God. And we do not worship Mary or any other saints. Having said that, we do also have to accept the fact that Mother Mary is not just one among the many saints. That's why the church venerates her in a hyper level compared to the saints by using the word hyperdulia. So having said that, we need to accept and understand the fact that Mother Mary is not God. We are not worshipping her, but at the same time, she is also not like any other human being. 
because she is full of grace. Now, taking this passage, how do we understand the words of Jesus? The important word here in the gospel today that I like to dwell, to reflect more is what Jesus said. But he said in verse 17, uh, uh, 28, chapter 11 of Luke, verse 28. But he said, blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and keep it. The important word that we need to understand very clearly here is the word rather. But rather. Because if you don't understand this word correctly here, you may agree with the Protestant accusations that Mother Mary was not revered by Jesus in this passage. He, he seems to be not valuing her much. So we need to dwell and understand the meaning of the word rather. But rather those who hear the word of God and keep it. Okay, the word rather in English that we have heard, in Greek Bible it is called menon. Minnaun has three meanings. The word rather here has three meanings, three possible meanings. First of all, Minnaun in the Bible is used only four times in the New Testament, in the entire New Testament. So we need to understand what is the meaning with which here in this passage the word rather is used. First of all, Minnaun could mean of the three meanings, the first meaning could be adversative meaning. What is the meaning of adversative? Adversative means, in other words, it could mean on the contrary. On the contrary means opposite. In other words, but. As we read in Romans 9.20, Minnaun there is used in the opposite meaning, in other words, in the meaning of on the contrary or but. That is one possible meaning. So if we take that meaning here, that means whatever is said before is negated now. So that means blessed, are, blessed is the womb that bore you and the breast that you sucked. That means Jesus is negating, no, they are not blessed, they are not blessed. So that is not the meaning of the word here. Menon or rather is not used in adversative meaning here. And the second possible meaning of Menon is affirmative. Affirmative means it could mean indeed. So here the meaning could be, is, Jesus is saying both are blessed. Those who, the womb that physically bore him and also those who hear the word of God. Both are in the equal footing. It is called affirmative meaning of minoun or rather. And the third possible meaning of rather here is corrective meaning. Corrective meaning means, yes, they are blessed. But more blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. That is the actual meaning with which the word rather is used in the gospel today. In other words, to put it in a very simple and me, uh, in a way that is understandable to everybody is, what Jesus is saying here is when we paraphrase uh, what Jesus said in the light of what we have been examining about the word rather, Jesus is saying, yes, he is not negating that the womb that bore him is blessed. He is not negating that the breasts that he sucked are not blessed. He is not taking that blessedness. But what Jesus is saying is, yes, my mother is blessed physically. For the physical reason that she gave me birth, that she bore me. But more than that, more blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. In other words, my mother Mary is blessed for two reasons. 
the primary reason is not that she bore me and she gave birth to me that is the secondary reason why she is blessed but she is more blessed because of the fact that she heard the word of god and she practiced it that is the reason of true blessedness that is the meaning of true blessedness so we need to understand that jesus was not taking honor away from his mother jesus is not insulting her or she is he is not speaking ill or bad of her but rather she is elevated and not only she he is also giving all of us an opportunity to be blessed because if we are blessed only for physical reasons of carrying jesus that is not possible for everybody only one person that opportunity was given to but the true blessedness can be achieved by any one no matter where you live no matter in which age you live no matter whether you are a contemporary to jesus or you are not so the meaning the true meaning of being blessed is to understand that i can also be blessed only and if only i hear the word of god and keep it let us pray for this grace today in this holy mass let's all stand and pray for our intentions god our loving father we pray for the holy catholic church for the pope the bishops the priests the nuns and all the baptized laity that we may see a blessing as your children by virtue of baptism but more than that our blessedness arises our blessedness comes to us because we do listen to your word and practice it let us pray for this grace lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer lord we pray for all the donors of divyavani tv lord among our donors there are people who are utterly poor but they have a very rich heart make us like that so that all of us from our blessings may give back to you so that this word of god may be uh, spread through tv channel given the need of the hour let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our prayer lord we pray for the people that are offering this mass we ask you to fulfill their hearts desires those people who are celebrating their birthdays that they may be blessed with bright good and healthy future and those people that are celebrating their wedding anniversaries the couples and their families may be blessed and the people who are called to eternal rest may obtain the company of angels and saints in heaven let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer lord we ask you to put an end to this pandemic of corona because of which many people have their lost their near ones many people lost their businesses and their very life itself lord show your mercy upon this world because without your wisdom without your knowledge we cannot invent a medicine for this so that by your grace the world may come back to a normal condition very soon that we may always remember the power of your almighty hand let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our prayer let's pray for our personal intentions for a few moments we make these prayers and the prayers in our hearts through christ our lord amen, amen.
My sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, a loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His church. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with You, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord and through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Tumma Bala, our Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united, whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our holy mass is ended. Let us go in peace and joy of Christ to serve Him and one another. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Oh